Hi, I'm Mike and this is Joe and we'd like to take a couple minutes to show you how to play our new card game, Goulash, the last game on Earth. In Goulash, the world has been infested by these giant green deadly monsters known as ghouls. And it's going to be your task in the game to journey through this obstacle-filled building represented by this green deck here in the middle of the playing area and you're going to be tracking down and destroying ghouls. Now, every time you destroy a ghoul, you'll earn victory points, which are represented by the green dots on the bottom of the ghoul card. The first player to reach 10 victory points wins the game. Now, the first thing you do is you separate the encounter deck into four stacks in the middle of the playing area called corridors. Now, the corridors do not have to be of equal height. Just make sure they're in the middle of the playing area where everyone can reach them. The next thing is for every player to select a character deck. Now, the game is for two to four players. There are four characters in the game. Each deck is color-coded. Now, you're going to be dealing yourself seven cards. The rest of your deck becomes your draw deck. And you're going to be maintaining a seven card hand throughout the game. There are three phases to every turn. The first phase is replenishment. You get to replenish your hand back up to seven. You also get to discard cards that you don't want before you replenish back up to seven. Now replenishment happens at the beginning of the turn. The other two phases are the action phase and the movement phase, and they can be taken in either order. Now the action phase is simply playing an action card from your hand. For instance, this is a steel card. Movement is moving through the corridors. Now to move, you simply flip over the top card of any of the corridor stacks, and you keep flipping until you've reached four cards or until you have an encounter, which is anything that is not one of the open corridor cards. Now when you encounter a ghoul, you have to fight it. Like for instance, Joe encounters a four strength ghoul at the top of this stack. The strength is indicated by the big white number on the card. Now what Joe is trying to do is he's trying to beat the strength of the ghoul by at least one using value cards from his hand. He can put down as many value cards as he needs to fight the ghoul. So in this case he's fighting this four strength ghoul. So he would put down this three and this two. So this five ordinarily would beat this four. However, his opponents get to challenge him in battle. Now for instance, I can challenge him by playing up to two value cards of my own. So for instance, against that five, I might put down a two and a one. So this three is then subtracted from this five, which brings his battle strength down to a two. So he has one opportunity to try to make up that deficit, to try to replace that three using cards from his hand. So for instance, he plays a three value card. His three cancels out my three, so he wins the battle. He gets to take the card, the ghoul card, and put it in front of him, and he keeps score using the green dots. Now, were he to lose that battle, he would suffer wounds equal to the number of victory points on the card. So for instance, uh, if he were to lose the battle against that four strength ghoul, he would take one wound. So an opponent just simply uh, comes over and takes one of the cards and it, it goes down in front of him as his wound pile. Now, the more wounds you get, the weaker you get. However, there are first aid kits in the deck. There are action cards that you can play during your action phase to heal all your wounds. Now, along the way, you're also going to encounter other obstacles in the corridors. For instance, you're going to encounter holes. Now, holes, if you fall in a hole, you're going to be out of the game for the next turn. You can also encounter debris. Debris causes you to suffer wounds, again, uh, represented by the loss of cards from your hand. Now, when a ghoul is destroyed, it, is, it explodes into thousands of pieces that are called goulash. Now, if you encounter goulash in the game, that also causes you to lose cards. You discard cards from your hand. Those cards are your choice. Now, you're also going to encounter innocent bystanders. Now, innocent bystanders slow you down, 
but they usually have rewards for the players who help them. And last but not least, you're going to encounter items. Now these nifty things help you out in ghoul battles and you get to hang on to them for the remainder of the game. Now throughout the game your opponents are going to represent the danger that you face. They're going to do things to try to slow you up in the game. For instance, they can play danger cards that will inflict you with debris or goulash, again causing you to suffer wounds. Now they can also, you can also steal cards from your opponent and actually use their cards against them. So you have to be careful because goulash is all about card economy and card strategy. You don't want to lose those valuable value cards nor do you want to lose the specialty cards that you have in your deck. Every player has specialty cards that give them an advantage over their opponents. You really want to be careful. The whole thing is about hanging on to the important cards and trying not to lose them. However, Goulash is designed with all sorts of ways to take cards away from you. Okay, well, that's it. You really now are ready to play Goulash. So, if you want to learn more about the game, please go to goulash.com and be sure to like us at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash goulash and please follow us at Twitter at twitter.com slash goulash and we hope that you will help us in our upcoming Kickstarter campaign to raise funds for, a, uh, for the publication of Goulash. Now we're going to have all sorts of great pledge rewards for you, plus we have planned all sorts of stretch goals that are going to make the campaign and the game even more exciting. So thank you very much for listening. We hope you'll uh, go out and get yourself a copy of Goulash and again help us out on our Kickstarter campaign. Once again, my name is Mike. This is Joe. We're the creators of Goulash. Thanks for listening and take care.